Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Pictured here, we have your typical capillary. And you'll notice that between the endothelial cells of this capillary, there are small little slits. And these small slits allow fluid, such as water, to flow out of them. So water is definitely something that's going to be able to travel from inside the capillary to the interstitial fluid. And some, another name that we give the interstitial fluid is the lymph, because that fluid will be taken up by the lymphatic system. Now, what about red blood cells? Will they be able to fit through these small slits? They will not. Red blood cells are large cells that are not going to be able to fit through these small little slits. Therefore, they're going to stay in the bloodstream and never enter the lymphatic system. And finally, what about proteins? Although small, tiny proteins will be able to fit through this small slit, larger proteins will not fit through. And this is actually really important, because if proteins stay on the inside of the capillary, that creates a osmotic pressure that pulls fluid from the lymphatic system into the bloodstream. If these proteins were instead to travel through these slits and enter into the lymphatic system, we would lose so much blood volume that it would be dangerous. So it's really important that large proteins do not fit through these slits because it would pull a lot of water with them. Let's take another look at the question stem. Which of the following will get squeezed out and made into lymph from the capillary? Red blood cells, nope, too large. Small proteins, yep. Large proteins, too large. And water, yes. Therefore, answer choice C, two and four, is the correct answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we will see you next time.